Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a video on Shopify. This is how to add a video to your homepage on Shopify as well as how to add it to your product pages, your regular pages, as well as your product descriptions. So really how to add videos anywhere on your Shopify store uh, and as well as how to upload videos to your Shopify store so you can upload your own videos from your computer as well as how to add YouTube videos and embedding YouTube videos and adding in videos just from any URL. So that's what I'm be showing you here in today's tutorial, how to do all those different ways that you can add videos to your Shopify store. Now, first I'm gonna be showing you, of course, how to add it to your homepage and get it looking like this so you can easily click play and view your video as you can see here. And boom, you have your whole brand story and you can share videos on your Shopify store. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you here how to do. And before we dive into the tutorial, I do wanna mention you can check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. That will take you right over to a Shopify free trial. We're gonna get started with Shopify for free today. If you don't already have a Shopify store, again, that's that first link down in the description box below. And without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial. So first things first, you're gonna wanna make sure you are logged into your Shopify store's dashboard. Next, you're gonna come over here to sales channels and click on online store. Now, currently I am using the Dawn theme on Shopify. This is on their newer online store 2.0 setup. So if you're using a different older theme or maybe one not directly through Shopify, this may be a little bit different for you. This is most likely what most people are using is the Dawn theme is most popular. Uh, but if you are using an older theme, there are other ways to add videos, which will be later in this tutorial on how to embed them or add them uh, through the text boxes, which would work on any Shopify store, no matter what theme you're using. But this is with the adding video sections uh, to your Shopify store. So all you're going to have to do is then click on customize. <clears throat> and that will bring up the theme editor for Shopify. Now, currently, we, as you can see here, we're on the homepage. So you can scroll down and you have the video. So to add videos to your Shopify store with this editor, all you have to do is scroll down to the add section box. You're gonna click on add section and you can see here theme sections. Then you click on show more. You can also alternatively just search for video in here. But if you click show more down at the bottom, you'll see video. Uh, again, alternatively, you can just search for video and it will then show up as a theme section. And then you can easily drag this around on your homepage uh, no, basically to show you wherever you want it. So if you want it at the very top, you can place it there. You can put it under the banner. Uh, you can add it under the rich text. We already have a video section here. So I'm just gonna drag it here above. So we have two video sections. Um, but basically then you can go in here under video and this is where you have all your video uh, editing tools to edit it in a variety of different ways for how it displays on your Shopify store. Now, if you do by default have a heading here for video, so you can either choose to delete that, uh, which probably most people don't need a heading there. You just want it to be nice and clean with no heading. Uh, of course, you can have one there if you want to, but you know you can easily just delete that and it will get rid of the text there. You can change the heading size. You know if you want it small, medium, or large. Let's just say if you wanted to keep the heading, you know you can have it small, medium, large. So you can do that there, or alternatively, you can just delete the heading. You can select a cover image as well. So this is the default cover image just because this is a thumbnail from the unlisted YouTube video that they have for this little test video on Shopify. Now, currently this is loaded in from YouTube, which I'll show you in just a second how you can get the URLs and how to add it here uh, to get YouTube videos as well as how to upload videos. I'll show you that in a second here as well. But, you know, cover image, you can also add a cover image to your video. So we're just gonna select a free image uh, from here. So boom, as you can see, you can also set up a nice little cover image. Um, you know, these are just the free uh, stock photos that Shopify offers. So you can set up a nice little cover image for your video as well. If you want like a special thumbnail, uh, you can either select from their free images uh, here, as you can see, uh, or you can also go to the library and upload your own images as a cover image. So we're just going to stick with the uh, one that I have selected here, this uh, women's clothing rack. So we'll stick with that for now. 
And then, you know, as you can see here, you can obviously change it if you want to uh, remove the image or change the image as well. Now to actually add the video, all you'll need is that YouTube URL. So if you're getting your video sourced from YouTube, you just need to go to YouTube and copy the URL and then paste it into here and it will automatically load here in the video section. Now, if you don't know how to get the URL, all you have to do on a YouTube video is, you know, alternatively, you know, you have the URL bar, but if you um, can't see the URL bar, you can also alternatively right click on any YouTube video and it will pull up this little menu here where you can then copy the video or URL. You can just copy the video URL. This works, as you can see here, this is just an embedded YouTube video, uh, but you can copy the video, or video URL there and then you can paste it in here and boom, as you can see, it loaded that video here. It's the same video, but different URL and it still loads that video into the video section. Now, how do you do this if you want to upload your own video, maybe not through YouTube, maybe alternative, you just wanna upload it to your Shopify store. So to do that, next, all you have to do is, of course, we're just gonna click save on here. Um, then all you need to do is go back to exit and we're going to go to the files section in your Shopify store. So we're just gonna search for files and that will bring up Shopify admin files. So this is where you can upload, manage and delete files. So we're just gonna do that here, click files. As you can see, we have the rack of women's clothing. And then we're gonna click on upload files. So we're just gonna upload this little test video I made here as a video and then that will upload to your Shopify store. Now, sometimes depending on the length of this video can take a decent amount of time. This is a fairly short video, so it shouldn't take too long to upload, but it will upload and then fully process the file uh, on your Shopify store. So for now, we're gonna let it process and upload uh, and we'll just let that go here on this window. So we're gonna close out of that here and we're gonna go back to the theme editor while that is currently uploading to the Shopify store as well and edit a few other things on the video. So other things that you can edit in your video is you can also edit the alt text. So this is important if you, um, you know, you have a lot of people maybe using screen readers or just like a, how an image has alt text, then it has video alt text. Videos also have alt text. So you can describe the video for customers using screen readers. Of course, you can learn more about that and how that all works. Basically for anyone who's maybe impaired uh, in any way, then, you know, screen reader will read out the alt text. So it's good to add this to your site just overall for SEO improvements and just for general user improvements as well. So you can add the little video alt text there, maybe describe the video uh, as well. You can also choose to make the section full width. So maybe if you want uh, the video to just be the full width, as you can see here, all you have to do is check that box. You can also select the color schemes. So you can have accents, like color accents uh, around the video. Maybe if you want it to be kind of red or something like that, you have accent two, you have inverse as well. And these color schemes are controlled based on the theme that you're using, as well as your theme settings. So if we go to theme settings, we go to colors, these are the accents. So accent one, accent two, as you can see, this is accent two that's showing up as red here because that is the accent two color that we have set in our Shopify theme settings under the color section. So if you do wanna change that, that's how you do that there. You just go to the colors and you can change the accent colors. So that's how you edit that color scheme section there. We're just gonna leave it on background one for now because we just want it basic. You can also edit the padding as well. So if you want it to be a little bit more padding on the top or padding on the bottom to kind of leave some more gap or space between different sections, you can also do that there as well. So now we're just gonna go ahead and click save uh, to save those changes for now. And let's go back and check on the video, which should be uploaded now in the files section. So we're just gonna go back to files. Again, it can take a little bit of time if you're uploading a longer video. So as you can see here, boom, there is the short little five second video. So as you can see, it is uploaded and it's just, um, all you have to do is copy that link. So you just click on link and copy link. That will copy the video link. Okay, and once your video is uploaded, there are a little bit more limitations if you are choosing to go this route and uploading your video as an MP4 to your Shopify store. So if you want things to show up very easily on the Shopify homepage in the sections editor that I already have showed you, you're going to want to make sure 
creator and you need to upload it to a sh video sharing platform such as YouTube so that you have the URL to be able to add it to the video sections on your Shopify store. Now you can still utilize your own files on your product pages and other aspects of your Shopify store. And that's what I'm showing you now in this part of the tutorial. As you can see here, if we try to go back to the theme section and we're going to go to customize and we're going to edit the video, if you try to paste in the URL from your Shopify video, it's not going to work as you can see here. Uh, it says that this link is invalid. Try pasting a complete YouTube slash Vimeo link. So you can also use Vimeo if you want. Um, YouTube or Vimeo, you have to use a file sharing site if you want it to upload in this section of, of how to upload a video and add a video to your Shopify store. Now, you can still use this video in other aspects, like I mentioned, in your product pages. So that's what I'm showing you next. Now, we're just going to go ahead and leave the unsaved changes. Now, to add videos to your product pages, all we're going to do is then click on products, and then we're going to go to edit the Rolex Oyster. Um, as you can see here, this product is currently listed. And then all you need to do here to add the video is you can just click add media. So as you can see here, you can add the media or you can add it from URL. So you could try doing it there if you want to add the file. See, as you can see here, it does not work as well. So media upload, but if you can add it, you can add it here as the test video. It will upload it and you can have your video um, added. It's kind of weird and wonky how you can't add it from a URL. It's like it's like Shopify's URL, but you can still add like a YouTube video or a Vimeo or an image here from URL uh, on Shopify if you want to add it that way or you can just upload your video directly and you can drag it around if you want maybe the video to show first or second. So you can have that media on your Shopify store. And then the other way alternatively to add it to your product page is you can also see, as you can see here, the video is now added. We're gonna make that primary um, or secondary. So you can drag it around however you want the order to play. And you can also add a video here. So you can select insert video. This will also work on any other pages on your Shopify store as well, just by using the text box. So if you wanna insert video in your description, let's just say, uh, this is a Rolex, nice watch. I don't know. So that's just some text there. And then we're gonna add the video below it. So we're gonna insert the video. Now this is where you have to embed a video. So if you want to embed a video, then you're going to just go back to your YouTube video that you have. You can go ahead and click play, da, da, da. And go ahead and pause that there. And then you can just click right click and click copy embed code. And then you can go here to insert video and you're just going to paste in the embed code, select insert video and boom. Then your video will then show up in your product description. We're gonna go ahead and click save. And then we're going to preview this product page. And as you can see, we have the video listed in the side here, the YouTube video. Now on this theme, currently it's a little bit wonky based on the sizing. You're probably gonna wanna resize that. Um, you know, as you can see here, if you click play, it's a little bit like weird sizing, right? So you can adjust that in the uh, code in the iframe, which we're going to do in just a second. But the easiest way really is just to upload the video into this section here. Uh, if you want it to show like next to the images, it will show right below the images and you can easily click play. And as you can see here, this video is uploaded to your Shopify store and uses the little Shopify player so that you aren't limited to the YouTube player. But YouTube, you know, using the YouTube embed, uh, it does give you a little bit more flexibility as where you want the, your videos to show up because um, by default, like the little video here is just in that one section. Now, if we drag this around, right, let's say maybe we want this to go first and go ahead and refresh the page. And as you can see, the video appears here first. So if maybe if you want the video to show, then that will be on your product page. You can add your little video in the product description, which is cool maybe if you're doing like courses or, or something else where you, you want that video content there as well. So you have that option. Uh, in the description to edit the embed code, you're just gonna click show HTML. And this is where you can adjust the height and width. So maybe, you know, you don't want the height so big. Maybe you just want it like, I don't know, 360 uh, and the width maybe 100. Let's just say make it nice and small. Then you just undo that. 
that will make it kind of weird and wonky too. So you can adjust it and play around with the HTML depending on you know how you want your your height and width. Actually, we'll make that width a little bit bigger. <laughs> that was kind of small. And boom, as you can see here, it's a little bit you know makes a little bit more sense. Um, maybe we make the width even bigger. Maybe we make that like 720 instead of the other way around with the the height so big. And so that's maybe a little bit more normal. Uh, depending on the theme that you're using, it will kind of scrunch the video a little bit weirder, uh, depending on the theme that you're using. So that's something to keep in mind there. But as long as you have it in there and you click play, uh, at least it will then adjust to your visitor's screen size here, especially if they're on a mobile device too. They go full screen, it won't even be a problem there as well. So that's how you can add it in your description. Uh, as well as in your product. I think the just adding it directly to uploading it to your site in your Shopify store is a lot cleaner, a lot nicer, and it, it's a lot easier to work with. You don't have to mess with the HTML code at all or anything, or just adding it in as a section. So those are a couple of ways to do it. Again, you can also add it to your pages if you just wanna embed a video uh, onto any other pages as well. Basically, you just go go to the little text box, click, click insert video. You can add your videos there, or alternatively, you can upload them here in the media section uh, on your Shopify store. So that's pretty much how you add videos to your Shopify store. Guys, if you found this video, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Guys, once again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to a Shopify free trial. We're going to start with Shopify for free today. Again, that's that first link down in the description box below. Guys, once again, if you found this video helpful, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. This has been how to add videos to your Shopify store, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.